Welcome, I am Nick Kroll. And I am John Mulaney. And we are your hosts for tonight's show. And when we say tonight, we mean today, because it's the middle of the day. This is the only award show that is a matinee. Yes, but it's cool in Indy, so it's a matinee McConaughey. And Johnny, you know what he says. All right, okay, oh sure. These are the Film Independent Spirit Awards. What a catchy, weirdly long name. Let's expand it, shall we? How about the Film Independent Spirit Awards of Latter-day Saints? That's good. Why are we hosting? Why are we hosting this? Why are we hosting why are we this, Why were we asked to host this? Well, I was actually in an independent film this year. I was in Jeff Nichols' beautiful film, Loving. And I self-taped an audition for Sully. Yes. John, you're a very good actor. Thank you, yeah. I know that. Yes. Take your goddamn hands off my son! See, it's easy, it's yeah, pretend. Perfect. For us to host this is not, uh, it's not an honor. It's a lateral move. It's a lateral yeah. move. It's a la but this is a great event. We like to think of these awards as the ones without Mel Gibson, all right? You know, people wondered how long would it take Hollywood to forgive someone for anti-Semitic racist hate speech? The answer? Eight years. Eight years. So look out for the 2024 Oscars when the Gene Hersholt Humanitarian Award goes to Mr. Steve Bannon. Yes. Oh, Steve Bannon, uh, that guy makes me crazy. I disagree with him. No, the only, you know, the only reason he got that job is because he's so hot. Uh, those, those chapped kneecaps. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? In this country, if you're that sexy, you get anything you want. Steve Bannon's so hot. He looks like if Nick Offerman drowned. Now then, award show ground rules. Phones off! Phones off! Don't check the news. This is your day to celebrate each other. Your day to stroke each other off. Basically, the Spirit Awards are a secret hand job on the beach. But enough about Moonlight. Oh, look at that. He's walking away, it's such a good joke. He's walking away, it's a 10. That joke's a 10. Hey, John, what let's, do you think? Yes, let's get some of these classic audience cutaways. That's all right. How, yeah. about we, how about we start with the director of the incredibly powerful documentary, 13th, Ava DuVernay. Yay. Ava, thank you. <laughs> Ava, good. Give us a look, like, don't cut to me. I've been filming in New Zealand and just got off a 43-hour flight. Nailed it. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Nailed it. Thank you, Ava. And now, let's do a cutaway to the incredible Annette Benning. Can yes. we cut away to Annette Benning? Annette Benning. Yes. Yes. Oh. An uh, Annette, you were outstanding in 20th Century Women. That yes. movie is incredible. And, and uh-oh, who is that sitting next to you? Is that your husband? Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Who are you wearing, honey? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you also do movies? Aw, oh, well, <laughs> you're very lucky to be married to her. Yes, you're very beautiful. You're very beautiful. You're very beautiful. Warren. Annette, tell him he's very beautiful. Yes. Oh. Warren, how does it feel to have the male gaze turned on you? Great, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's topple the patriarchy, folks, right? Warren. Warren, Warren. that's a weird name. Warren. War My Warren. name is Warren. Warren. You know what? Well, we got a little high before the show. Yeah. It's a war Warren. We got high in my RAV4. We're a little high right yeah. now. But, I bet Warren got a little high before the show, too. Oh, I bet Warren has like a really expensive silver vape that looks like a pistol, no, you know? I bet, I, bet Warren, I bet Warren's got one of those Altoid boxes filled with pre-rolled joints that Danny DeVito gave him. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. And of course, I want to cut away to the legendary Mr. Samuel L. Jackson. Can we get that? Where we got? Is Sammy here? Samuel, Samuel L. Can we cut to Samuel L. Jackson? Okay. All right. Not here. Not here. He's not here? Oh, that's too bad, because you would have told him <laughs> something you cared about. Yeah. Yeah. 
What a bummer. Do the joke anyway, it's a killer. Can I do a joke and we'll just all pretend he's here? Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. I'm already pretty deep in it. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, I am such a big fan of yours. You are in some of my favorite Kangol hats, including purple felt and, of course, gray leather. Yes. You know, we were gonna do a cutaway to Shia LaBeouf, but he isn't here tonight as well. Yeah, we wrote a joke about how Shia LaBeouf was arrested at his own art installation, mm -hmm. but then he got arrested at his own art installation again. Yes. For those of you who don't know, Shia LaBeouf in French is, uh, that guy looks like he has crumbs in his bed. I bet when Shia makes a hard left in his car, a bunch of stuff slides around. Yes. Okay, you know what, let's talk about the nominees. Let's yeah, talk about the yeah. films. Let's talk about Let, the- Let's talk about nominees. Let's talk about your movies. Let's talk about all the films from 2016 we did not see. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about films. films. And we're back in the monologue. Oh. Boy, thank you, yes. No, of course. Yeah, that's obligatory. Boy, the movies this year. Depressing. These films are, to quote the president, sad exclamation point. You know, 2016 indie, indie films were so harsh, I had to watch A Dog's Purpose to cheer up. And I mean the behind the scenes footage. He's not afraid of dogs, he's Team Cat. Team Cat, baby. This year's movies, how about Manchester by the Sea, everybody, yes. Wonderful film. The best. Casey Affleck plays a morose, withdrawn man from the outskirts of Boston, living in the shadow of his older brother. What a reach. <laughs> sad movies, but many of them were sad and beautiful, like Moonlight. Moonlight was just gorgeous. A, incredible. Gorgeous. And Nick, do you know who directed Moonlight? Barry Jenkins. And do you know what Donald Trump thinks Barack Obama's name is? Barry Jenkins. Correct. <laughs> but there's still a lot of fun to be had with this year's nominees. Yes. Okay, for instance, and this is true, the cinematographer of Childhood of a Leader is nominated today, and his name is Lal Crawley. His name is Lal? Yes. It's spelled L-O-L? It's spelled L-O-L, <laughs> which must make it so hard to write a serious email. Like, I don't care if you're an alcoholic. You ruined my family, and now we are penniless. LOL. <laughs> now, some of you might take the opportunity today to make a political statement in your speech. And that is your right, but bear in mind, we are on IFC, and these are the Spirit Awards. So in terms of impact, you could give your speech directly into camera, or you could whisper it to yourself in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. Yes. Politics. Yes. Politics, politics, politics. Politics, politics, politics. Speaking of bathrooms, President Trump rescinded rights for transgendered students to use the bathroom of their choice this week. Yeah. Yeah. Because transgendered children in public schools have had it too good for too long. Hey, Trump, you and Robert Durst are both rich sociopaths from New York real estate empires, yet somehow Robert Durst is more likable. <laughs> and no, conservatives, we are not in a bubble, okay? We are in a tent uh, filled with fringe artists on a California beach. If this room leaned any further to the left, we would literally topple into the Pacific Ocean. Liberal. Liberal. We're liberal. We're very liberal. We're liberal. Mm -hmm. In closing, we should say, truly, we are very honored to be here to celebrate independent film, its art, and its artists. Yes. You know, as the great independent director, Mr. Werner Herzog, once said, mm -hmm. the universe is monstrously indifferent to the presence of man. Yes. As the great indie director, David Lynch, said, I like watercolors. I like acrylic paint a little bit. I like house paint, I like oil-based paint, and I like oil paint. I love the smell of turpentine, and I like the world of oil paint very, very, very much. Or, 
As the great independent director, Mr. Werner Herzog, once said, I despise formal restaurants. I find all of that formality to be very base and vile. I would much rather eat potato chips on the sidewalk. Yes. Really, the best way to express what we feel is with the words of indie director Vincent Gallo. I don't trust or love anyone because people are so creepy. Creepy, creepy creeps. Creeping around, creeping here and creeping there, creeping everywhere. God bless Vincent Gallo. God bless him. And on that note, let's get the show started. Yeah. Wonderful. They're all people that he trusts, and I think that we are sort of, um, we all pr prepared, you know. There's a lot of prep work that goes in. It's graft, essentially. It's not just, you know, divine inspiration, necessarily. Um, a lot of work goes into that, and I think that...